Hi there, welcome to BI Consulting Pro. My name is Ajay Kumar and today we are going to deep dive into one selected value DEX related question. As you can see on your screen over here, you would find this selected value DEX question where one user is actually trying to use the selected value DEX function to get one value. Basically, what's happening over here, if you will see, first user is using selected value to get a number of months. He's using what if parameter over here. However, when he's trying to use the same inside a DEX calculated measure, which is another measure, he's getting a blank value out of it. Then why it's happening? What is the reason for that? You will get to know in this video. If you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and I'm going to let you know everything about this issue and how to resolve it. Now we are going to deep dive into this problem and we will try to find out why it's happening. First of all, when you would look at this question, you have to notice what the user output is going to be or what is the expected output over here. Not only that, you have to also think about the DEX functions are being utilized over here. For example, selected value and data. These are the two main DEX functions that's being used over here. We all know that measures output is a scalar value. That is only one value. It cannot be a table or something like that. However, if I'll come over here on my screen, here you see the description of these two DEX functions. If you are new to our channel or you haven't gone through our DEX Sunday series, then please check the link in the description section where I have explained all the DEX functions with examples. Similar to that, I have also explained selected value DEX functions. Now let's focus over here. Selected value DEX function. So this selected value function is basically used to return the value that is currently being selected in a column or that the value that is in currently in your context and what does that mean for example you use what if parameter then whatever value is selected through the slider or through the drop down that same value should be selected in other words if you want to capture one selected value through a slicer then you can use the selected value text function that's going to help out for example number of months number of years or number of employees etc you can use that syntax is also over here and it's going to return you a scalar value scalar value means single value that's going to be the output over here on the other hand when we check the dex function which is data add it's going to return you a table so it's imperative that whenever you use dex functions you must know what is going to be the output one measure cannot return you multiple values remember that that's the main issue over here so what was happening well when user was trying to use this one over here using this selected value dex function or you can also say what if parameter then the value is coming over here correctly but the measure is not giving any output over here because it's taking multiple values because this measure is being fitted up with multiple values however it can only return a scalar value that was the problem over here or in his case he was getting a blank value but now if you will see whatever value i change this is returning the right result then how did i achieve it well that's what i'm gonna let you know so over here you would see that the user was using this one over here but this is a calculated column not a measure in the calculated column it would work but when you are going to use it inside a measure like the same way over here you are not going to get the right result you would get either the error or the blank value and when the blank value comes well the reason is the data add function along with other time intelligence functions expects a column with dates as input not a scalar value like what you get from selected value and when you pass number of months from the table number of months value directly to date add it's possible that the context is not correctly understood resulting an invalid operation and hence either returning error or value so the context is really important over here so you need to pay attention for that one and now i have modified this one with my this test measure what i'm doing over here first i'm using my variable where i'm saying selected months and in this one i'm getting selected value from the slicer or what if parameter then i'm using another variable prior date and for that i have to use this calculate table because i have to calculate the whole table not just a single value so date add is gonna return you a table basically so that's why we have to use this one and then i had to modify this one so over here i'm dropping all other filters from this table as well and then i'm using my selected months over here now in the data add function if you will see you can provide the intervals and here i'm providing the intervals as month you can also provide quarter year week etc now 
after that we have to return the value and i'm using calculate then first sum of all the open values which is in the table and then i'm filtering it out based on my this prior date that's how it's going to work and when i do that then you can see that it's working correctly over here however there's a little bit caveat i cannot you know verify the values so probably you can do that or user can verify the values the main intention of this particular video on selected value and tax was basically to let you know guys that whenever you create a measure it always return a single value however inside measure we use different dex functions and those dex functions work differently some of them returns your scalar value only however others can return your table so you have to keep in mind how to use them and where to use them if you would like to know more or if you would like to learn more then we have specialized trainings for you that is based on Microsoft Power BI, Microsoft Fabric, their certifications, even the DEX and Power BI admin trainings are the part of that. You can contact us to learn more or to have a one-on-one -on -one training programs. If you are looking for any consulting work, then also you can contact us. Meanwhile, keep learning, keep exploring the world of data. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you're new over here. And also don't forget to share with your friends and colleagues. I'm going to see you in the next video.